Hi, Donna Guest here, Creative Memories Advisor and Lazy Scrapbooker. I want to show you one of my favorite tools to make beautiful pages quickly, the Creative Memories Border Maker System. The Creative Memories Original Border Maker System has been around for several years, but it's still new to some people. So here's all the info you need for how to use your Border Maker System, as well as a few ideas. Let's see what's included. With the Border Maker System, you'll receive a sheet of instructions, the cartridge housing, the paper guide, and one free cartridge, the picket fence. Up in the top right corner, you'll find a link to my video where I make a cute road border using this cartridge. Creative Memories typically runs a promotion where you receive an additional bonus cartridge that you choose from select options. And you can continue to collect cartridges as Creative Memories introduces new ones quite often. But if you see something you like, get it quickly because they don't last long. Let's check out the pieces of your border maker system. First, we have the paper guide. The paper guide has this blue lever right here, and you'll notice two magnet strips there. That's what's going to hold the paper in place. Then on the bottom side, you'll see this black tray. There's a little lever right here that you can pull out and pop the tray into place. The tray's one function is to line your paper up correctly. A note about the paper you use. The original Border Maker system is designed to use the Creative Memory solid cardstock, like this, and designer paper. If you try to use thicker specialty cardstocks that you purchase from another store, your cartridge may jam and you'll have the not so much fun task of removing paper from it. Okay, so let's put our paper into place. I'm going to line up this piece of paper with the edges of the black tray and then snap down the blue lever. Okay, the magnet's holding it into place and I'm just going to pop the tray back behind and tuck it under. My paper is secure now. Next, let's look at your cartridge housing. That's this blue and white piece here. You'll see a large opening on the front where the Creative Memories logo is. And on the back, there's a little button. That's how you're going to release the cartridge. When loading a cartridge, you always want to put the logo side in first. And there are the two prongs on the cartridge. You're going to want to leave those outside. And so just think of it this way. You can see the image as you load it in of what you're going to be punching. So logo goes in first, and we're going to hear it click. It's in place now, and the punch lever comes up. Now let's look at the alignment tabs. You'll find them on both pieces of the border maker system. First on the cartridge housing, you'll see this small white tab right here. If you want, you could mark yours with a Sharpie. I haven't done that yet, haven't really needed to, but I can see it okay. Then on the paper guides, you're going to have six tabs and they're all in matching blue there. And again, if you wanted to mark that with a Sharpie or a marker, you could. Not really necessary though. And you'll see six of those. You'll also see a ruler, if needed, in inches and centimeters, right here on the paper guide in blue. When using the border maker system to punch a border, the goal is to line the white tab up here with each of the blue tabs one at a time, and you're going to fill it lock into place. All right, once again, I'll repeat what we have done so far. We pull out the black tray, lift up the blue lever to expose the magnet strips, and then we'll put in our paper, line it up, and press down the blue lever. And now the paper is secure in there. And we flipped the black tab underneath so we can lie it flat on the table. Next, I've got my, remember I've got a cartridge in the housing. We put logo side goes in where you can see the picture. And we're going to line up this alignment tab with the six alignment tabs that are located on the paper guide. So now I'm just going to line it up here and you'll feel a clicking if you can hear this. It clicks into place. Now I usually stand up when I do this so you can, might wanna use both hands or stand up. And be sure not to put your fingers back here or you can pinch your fingers, so don't do that. I just use the balls of my hands and usually it takes one hand if I'm standing up. And notice I'm just picking it up and moving it, and I'll show you here. Just picking it up and moving it to the next tab, and it clicks into place. You will hear it click, you'll feel it click, and you know you can't go wrong when you've done that. And we have a beautiful, perfect border that we completed from the new Climbing Vine Border Maker cartridge. When you're ready to remove your cartridge, all you do is pick up the housing, turn it over, and press this blue button on the back. 
and maybe give it a little shake and it comes out in your hand. Let's take a look at my poster where I've made some samples. I want to show you the difference between a border maker chain cartridge and just a regular border maker cartridge. Now they all look the same, the cartridges that is, but you'll notice some, like the apple chain, that means when you cut that off, you'll get a clean border and you don't have to make any more cuts. While the apple is a chain, dips and diamonds, for example, is not a chain, and you do have to make a cut to get that off and you determine the size of the border at that point. For examples, clouds, not a chain, you determine the length of those clouds, and gear, obviously it has chain in the name, so it comes off a clean border like that. So typically Creative Memories is going to put chain in the name to give you a clue of how that border is going to come out of the, uh, the border maker system. So that makes it pretty easy to see. Some border maker cartridges can actually serve as a punch when it has just one single design like this, for instance the Arrow border maker cartridge. If you want just one arrow, you don't even need to use the paper guide. Just have a piece of paper, and now it's simply a punch. And you have a perfect shape. You can create borders up to 12 inches long. The borders can look great simply on their own or layer more than one of the same border to create a shadow effect. Use multiple colors behind and around your border like this one with a star cartridge. Or simply add a few stickers to your border. Now using the same border maker cartridge, I'm going to try a designer paper for a layering look. Create an interesting background for your page by using the border maker at the top or bottom of a full sheet of paper with different paper behind it. Okay, this one was actually a border punch and not a border maker cartridge, but I am the lazy scrapbooker and this example was already complete in my album, so you get the idea. Now I'm going to mat a photo with the border maker system to show you how you can extend a mat with the pattern of your choice. I'm just going to cut several inches of this. I don't need many because it's going to be at the top of my photo, which is only four inches wide. So each cut will do two inches. So I'm going to need to do six because it's going to be a little bit wider than four inches since it is a mat. So that ought to do it right there. So it needs to be at least that wide, which is four and a quarter. So that would Hmm, let's see, I might want to make this kind of a mirror image. Let's just see how we can do this. Let's do exactly the same thing over here and see if that works. It does. Okay, I like that. And it is a thin border. Each border maker cartridge makes up to 2,000 cuts or 333 12-inch borders, just a little over 5 cents per border plus the cost of paper. The border maker system is not just for scrapbook pages. It works wonderfully with cards as well. You can even alternate cartridges along the paper guide. Simply skip every other alignment tab with the first cartridge, then switch the cartridge and punch the tabs you skipped. You can see the results here with the footprints and paw prints cartridges.
And finally, your Border Maker system stores beautifully in the Creative Memories Tools Organizer. I hope you got some great tips and I answered all your questions about the Creative Memories Border Maker system. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for being a subscriber. If you haven't yet, be sure to click subscribe on my channel to see all future videos. Thanks again and have fun making borders.